Welcome, welcome, welcome <laughs> to the first episode of my channel, my YouTube channel, Lisa Lana Ola. And I am going to be cooking with you every week. We're going to be cooking, we're going to be chatting, we're going to be learning. The name of the channel is Laugh, Learn, Live with Lisa. Today we're going to be cooking orzo risotto. I've never made risotto before. So this is my first time and um, let me just tell you about myself and um, this channel. I am not a chef. I'm not a professional chef. I'm not a cooker. I'm not a chef or none of that, right? But I can follow a recipe. What I can do is follow a recipe. You give me some ingredients. You tell me how much to put in there. I can definitely do that. That I'm good at. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put some stuff together. Hopefully it's going to come out bomb. It usually does. And if it doesn't, then we'll just toss it and try again. The recipe I got from Aisha Curry's cookbook. I'm going to put the link in the description. I love her. She's Jamaican, just like me. The recipes include two ounces dried porcini mushrooms. First of all, I got regular mushrooms, and then I'm like, okay, no, we're going to commit to actually following the recipe. So I went out and got the porcini mushrooms. They are dried mushrooms, and I could tell the difference. They smell so good. So um, she says porcini mushrooms, boiling water, olive oil, butter, shallot. I got a shallot and this is it. I got two came in the pack. I used one, I cut it up, right? Cause you're supposed to cut it up. But let me tell you something. I didn't even know what a shallot was. It's basically an, an a mini onion. And I was like, okay, I could deal with that. I could mince that up. So. If you are wanting to try some stuff, you know, just to try it and you've never done it before, then this channel is going to be for you. Um, I have garlic cloves. I buy, I like my garlic already minced. Kosher salt, I just got regular salt, pepper, orzo. I've never used orzo before in my life. Vegetable stock, heavy cream, Parmesan, the juice of one Mayer lemon, Aisha and I have to have a chat because this was supposed to be simple and easy and nobody had mayor lemon. So we're cutting out the mayor lemon. I could use the regular lemon, but the difference between a mayor lemon and a regular lemon is the mix between like a lemon and an orange. So it's like a sweetier one. So I was like, okay, let's cut the lemon. We're not going to use lemon at all. And then parsley for garnish, I just X'd out on the parsley. This is how it's supposed to turn out. That's the risotto, and this is the book that I use. Okay, so let's start. Start off by combining the dried shrimp in boiling water. The mushroom comes dried. It was some fancy, it was some fancy, fancy mushroom. I was like, okay. So it came dried. You had to soak it for 30 minutes in boiling water, and then it blossoms, and then you, I chopped it up. So I already did that. In a large skillet with a lid, heat the olive oil butter on medium heat, add the shallots, garlic, pinch of salt. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I like, like I said, I like to measure, I like to do uh, measurements for everything. So we're starting off in my kitchen. It's, uh, my house is 1300 square foot, so it's not a big kitchen, but you know how we do. We make things do what they do. So we have to melt this butter look at me stirring it like i'm a chef and the thing about me is i like to try new things about 11 or 12 years ago i gave up eating meat i only eat seafood pasta and stuff like that but no meat no chicken no pork no beef none of that and that's just to share a little bit about me and i like aisha curry like i said i I love my Jamaican peoples. Whenever they represent, I'm gonna represent them. So while that's melting, then we're gonna put in the shallots. We're going to put in the garlic. So we use a pinch of salt. Mix, ooh, that smells so, so good. Stirring until fragrant for a minute or two, and then we're gonna add the orzo. How much orzo? So one cup of orzo. So like I said, I've never cooked with orzo before. It looks like rice. It's like basically like little, little chunks of rice. Add the orzo and let toast stirring for a minute longer. So we are going to stir this all together. Then we're going to stir in the chopped mushrooms, the stock and the heavy cream. We're gonna cover, we're gonna reduce the heat to medium low and cook for 15, 20 minutes. It smells so good in here. Now we're gonna stir in the chopped 
mushrooms, vegetable stock. So this is a half a cup. So I gotta do this six times. Half a cup of heavy cream. I just got regular heavy cream. Okay, so we mixed it. Everything is good. We're gonna mix this around, mix this around, mix this around, mix this around. So I'm just gonna move it over here so that you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but that's how that looks. Doesn't that look so good? So we're gonna cover that, turn it down to low, medium low, right? We're gonna set the timer for 20 minutes. It says 15 to 20, I like to set it for 20. We're gonna let that cook until the orzo is al dente, and then we're gonna stir in the Parmesan cheese. That was fast. That literally took maybe like 10, 15 minutes and then uh, another 20 minutes to cook. So it's like maybe a half hour meal. Okay, Aisha, that's a win. Now we just gotta see how it tastes and then we'll be all set. Okay, now this is what I really wanted to talk to you about. While the food is cooking, I wanted to share with you a book that has changed my life. It literally has changed the way that I think, the way that my mind um, thinks about organization. And that book is The 12 Week Year. As a friend, because we're friends, we're now YouTube friends, right? And family. So as a friend, I just want to come on and share with you things that have changed my life. And this book is life-changing. It's by Brian Moran and Michael Lennington. Get more done in 12 weeks than others do in 12 weeks months and i just want to share three reasons why i love this book um number one instead of planning yearly resolutions we plan 12 week goals each month now equates to a week not quarterly not annually it's all 12 week and it's a 12 week year so the concept is you know how in December we start, or in January, we start planning resolutions for the year? And we always plan for the year. So I usually, I used to do financial goals, spiritual goals, relationship goals, business goals, weight goals, whatever, resolutions, right? I used to plan that, put them down, things that I just wanna do for the year and just like do them, right? But this, the 12 week year changes your mindset to think about now we're doing things in 12 weeks weeks instead of the whole year 12 weeks is our year so each week is a month and you're able to do more in that and that's just it it changes the way you think instead of having a whole 12 months to do something or to do say you had to lose a certain amount of weight instead of trying to say okay i want to lose a certain amount of weight in 12 months you now have 12 weeks to do it and it puts a fire on you right Number two, it's broken down into a workbook. So basically he gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to accomplish your goals for the, for the 12 weeks. So you make the 12 week goals, I have three goals. Then you break each of those goals down into weekly goals because one week now equates into a month. You break it down into weekly goals and then you break it down even further into daily goals. And it's not just to create lists and tasks, but it's a formula. So after each week, I calculate, I, I do the formula on did I accomplish what I said I was going to accomplish. And then you rate, you rate that and he gives you the formula on how to do it. And so if you had a bad week, you can go on and say, okay, next week I will be better, you know? And this is the field guide. There's, there's a regular book and then there's a field guide on how to actually calculate and to set yourself up to win. I calculate each week how I did. I'm kept accountable with my accountability team and there should be improvements weekly. And if not, then adjustments need to be made because you need it in your life if you want to accomplish more. And I say that because so far, I've been rating myself week by week by week. In the beginning, I wasn't taking it as seriously, so my scores were not as good. Then I started to see, as I just kept doing and doing and doing better and better, I was accomplishing more. So, so far, I'm only nine weeks and I have another three weeks. I've accomplished two out of my three goals. Goals that would have taken me a whole year to do have now taken me nine weeks to get done. I've hit my business savings goal. I had a goal that I needed to hit. Um, my personal savings goal, I hit that and that is because of intention and consistency and this book, The 12 Week 
year is a game changer. It's a lifesaver. It's like, <laughs> it's like I call it my Bible because I carry it with me everywhere. And number three, I get so much more done with the book. I just have been accomplishing so, so much. So like I said, I hit my business goal. I hit my um, personal goal. Only goal that I have left is my weight loss goal, which I'm still working on. I haven't hit the target. And I might not hit the target by the end of the 12 weeks, but I have made a dent in what I said that I was going to do, which is such a plus for me because I feel like it's been nine weeks and I've been seeing such an improvement and I've been feeling more and more accomplished and I'm just so amazed at it. I wanted to share that with you again. It is the 12th week year pick it up i'm going to post the link in the description bar below and go pick it up and take it seriously this this book some people get things they say they're gonna do it and then they don't commit to it if you commit to this book and you commit to the lifestyle changes that it can give you oh my gosh you're going to reap the rewards now you're gonna just stop making resolutions that you don't commit to. You're actually going to be able to hit your goals and to see results. And that to me is life changing. In the comments, come back and let me know how it's worked out for you because I just wanna share, I want to share, and I've loved sharing and I've shared all my life things that have worked for me and things that have improved my life in some way. And this book is really, really a life changer. I even have my pencil in here because <laughs> it's a book that you can write in. I like, I don't like to write in books because I'm like, I'm going to go back and like have new goals next time. Cause my, my 12 weeks are done in about three weeks. Then after the 12 weeks, he gives you one week to just treat yourself for making any goals that you did or to like reflect and to and to look at it and look back and see um all the things that you did and thanks to my friend myra for recommending it to me love her she's a dear friend of mine i'm not a big chef um because I, I like to do like quick simple meals like that's the kind of cooking that i am like a whole five hours in the kitchen making all kinds of stuff that's not me it's not who i am i do not like to spend hours in the kitchen i like to come in follow the recipes, cook what I have to cook, and I'm out. So I usually cook uh, maybe once, once a week, maybe twice. My brother-in-law and sister, her two kids, they have been building their mansion, so they've been staying with me for like a year. They have been, they, they are good cooks, and they love to cook, so they have been doing most of the cooking because that's what they love. And I'm like, oh, that's what you love to do? Then fine, I will not, I will not even attempt to distract you or to not allow you to do something that you like to do right i got my dish ready <laughs> it is because it's like what time it's like uh, 11 o'clock i think 11 a.m and i haven't eaten breakfast yet so i've been like holding out for this risotto so it will be good i know it what oh my gosh this looks so so good Look at the steam coming out of there. The shirt is lighter because of the, the, the lighting, but same thing, same fine. Let's taste it now. Mmm, it's so good. So if you want to try risotto, that is a good recipe to try from Aisha's The Full Plate. Like I said, I'm gonna link this book in the description below. I'm also gonna link the 12 week year. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for rocking with me. Laugh, learn, and live with Lisa channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button. Share this video with a friend. If you know anybody that wants to try to make risotto that has never made risotto before or a non-chef or a non-cook that wants to learn how to cook, let them know this is the channel for them. We're gonna be trying out different things. Thank you. Enjoy. I am surely gonna be digging into this and my family will too.